Hey hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to integrate Dipstick R1 for free with Winesurf. So after release of Dipstick R1, I have already made a video with a detailed explanation. I have already shown you on various types of questions like programming, reasoning and probability questions that how Dipstick R1 is actually beating OpenAI O1. And uh, after that, many of you requested me to make a video to integrate this Dipstick R1 with Winesurf. Because if you go to this wine serve and they have these two models. One is this GPD4O and another one is this Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And to use that model, uh, you need to pay, right? But as you know that Dipsic R1 is free. So in this video, I will show you how to use this Dipsic R1 with wine serve. Okay, now for that we need Olama. Okay, so go to this uh, website olama.com and install this uh, according to your operating system. Now after that I have given one link in the description box, uh, you will find this Dipsic R1 page and here you see that it has the capability to uh, solve this math code and reasoning task. Basically it is a reasoning model and it is achieving the same performance comparable to OpenAI O1. Okay. Now they have published some models uh, like 1.5 billion, 7 uh, billion, 8 billion. 14, 32, 70 and the maximum parameter model is 671. Now if you scroll down below here you see that there is a drop down like uh, all of the model size is given. So according to the space available in your laptop uh, or desktop you please install that model. So if you want to get the uh, maximum uh, capability model then you please go to this, uh, this 670 billion model which is 404 GB. Otherwise, if you uh, install this 32 billion model, then also you will get the best output from this deep sea R1. Okay. And uh, I am going to this 8 billion parameter model just to show you the process. Okay. So I am copying this um, this command Olama run deep sea R1 8 billion and open your terminal or command prompt and just paste that command and press enter. So it will be installed locally in your machine. Okay. Now go to your wine serve and on the left hand side you will find this extensions icon click on this and here search client okay so uh, here you see that you will be able to see the install button just install it and on the left hand side you will find this uh, client and here this is the interface and follow my cursor click on the settings of this client okay and here you will find the API provider this is Olama select it from this drop down and here in this model id you will find this dipsic r1 8 billion parameter model okay so just select this dipsic r1 and click on this done now here this is the interface and uh, here you see that below there is a two button one is the plan another one is the act okay so to build a app we need a proper architecture this is a client version 3.2 update if you want me to make a video on this client version 3.2 update, just comment me below in the comment section. Okay. Now I will paste it here that build a habit tracker app, press enter. Now it will give me the planning, proper planning to uh, make this app. Okay. What are the architecture? What should be the database? And what should be the backend setup, front end architecture? It will give me that. And when I have the proper architecture, I will click on this add button below. Okay. Here you see that um, first I will outline the main features needed like adding habits, stacking progress, setting goals, all of these things. It is a React app using use state and makes sense for handling form inputs and habit data. So it is doing the proper planning, right? And here you see that streaks are calculated by checking how many conservative days user has completed the habit. So proper architecture you will get if you use this client with OneServe, right? So in this way, you can generate the whole code, whole source code, and you can use that for free. There is no limit. Here you see that here is the code, and um, this is a TypeScript code you are getting. So TypeScript actually, uh, senior developers use TypeScript. So uh, you are getting this senior developer type code for free, right? So this was the procedure. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. And if you want me to make a proper full stack app, app uh, there then please comment me below in the comment section i will make a proper full stack app using this wine serve and this uh, deep cigar one 
or VS code with uh, deep sea guard work okay so see you guys in the next video and if you found this video helpful guys just make sure you subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video see you guys next in the next video thanks for watching